What we have seen uh, over and over in the UK is that quite often the attempt to protect people from hate or whatever has actually nothing to do with the trigger that causes. So I'll give you an example. Sir David Ames was a, an MP who was murdered by a terrorist. Uh, and the next day, all his colleagues went into Parliament and started talking in Parliament about how this shows that we need to tackle online hate. Mm -hmm. David Ames wasn't killed by online hate. He was killed by an Islamist. Mm -hmm. um, likewise, more recently, Parliament actually, uh, to, to cut a very long story short, suspended its own rules of procedure because uh, Labour Party MPs feared what would happen to them if they did not vote the correct way on the Israel-Palestine conversation. And again, following the furore that broke out from that, the argument was, well, MPs need to be nicer to each other, <laughs> instead of dealing with the fact that there was a mob outside parliament who was intimidating the parliamentarians. So very often, the it seems to me that uh, a lot of the time, the mind has been made up that we need to deal with online hate, whatever that means. And then whatever happens is then used as an excuse to do that.